Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today as you can tell by the title I've decided to do a wiki how makeup tutorial. Little disclaimer, I'm not very good at makeup whatsoever and also the light because it's now autumn is a bit rubbish let's say let's put it that way and where I live the sun likes to sit on top of the roof rather than around the sides to give me good enough lighting. So without further ado let's just crack on with the video. So I have my laptop over here because I don't have a camera camera and I'm using my iPhone 8 so if I'm looking that way it means I'm looking at my laptop which you can see. Step one is preparing your face. So remove any old makeup. When applying makeup, it is necessary to start with a clean palette. And you could call a face a palette, but well, we won't call it. Remove any makeup that you might have slept in. Why would you sleep in makeup anyway? It's all sticky and gross. And wash up from makeup earlier on in the day. But that's just the same thing if you're going to wipe it off before you go to bed. Uh, apparently you need to do that too but oh well makeup remover I'll be using is just the soap and glory total drama clean I literally starting from a clean palette anyway because obviously I don't have any makeup on because I have slept since yesterday so that would be very unhygienic step two says Wash your face, but I can't book to do that. I'm going to wash it and cleanse it. I've just done one or the other. But it does say moisturise. And then it says, for the same reason you remove your old makeup, you should also wash your face. Mm. But then isn't that like stripping your natural oils off? But you know, it's wiki how we want to trust it. Then it says, use a mild facial cleanser to gently wash your face. Cool. Finish up by applying a facial moisturiser. I just have the Essential Moisturiser Day Cream by number 7. <laughs> number 3. Prime your face. Before you add any makeup, you need to prime your face. The purpose of a face primer is to enhance the appearance of makeup and increase the lovingly. I've actually just thought it was just to... Uh, make the makeup stick to your face but just for the primer I just have the basic Smashbox photo ready one put on a coat of foundation okay but it is cakey so I'm just going to apply it with the Boots standard blending sponges for this video I'm just going to use the Urban Decay Stay Naked in the shade 31NM was number five hi your concealer right so just got the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade number zero five let's blend this in let's see what number six says set your foundation and concealer this step is optional, but if you're looking for a long-lasting, crease-free makeup, you should use a setting powder to hold your foundation and concealer in place. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush and my Rimmel Transparent Setting Powder. Seven, apply a highlighter. To, to provide some depth, you will need to create the illusion of highlights and shadows. You can use a cream or powder highlighter to brighten the deepest areas of your face. So I'm going to use my Naked Illuminated Urban Decay Highlighter, which basically just looks like this. And I will be using it with my Eco Tools brush. <laughs> Number 
number eight, apply depth with contouring. So for this one, I'm gonna be using my number seven bronzer, which looks just like this in the shade Maple. And also again, I'm gonna be taking the same brush and using my Eco Tools. Number nine, apply a little blush. So for this one, I'm just gonna reach in for my Benefit Gold Rush. It just looks like this is a bit warm, but yeah, it's because I use it all the time. Number 10, fill in your eyebrows. In with the Benefit Curb Brow in the shade 3.5. And basically all it is, is just a little pot. This is actually the mini size because I find that I don't really need the full size of it because I've never actually gotten through a whole one. And it's just a little slant to brush with that one. And then, anyway, the mini is a pretty good size as anyway, so who really needs a full size cup brow? Let's get into the part of the eye makeup. I still haven't chosen which side shadow palette I'm going to go for. I'm just going to go for the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. Basically just looks like this. So for this one I'm just going to go with the shade Bang Bang which is just a glittery pink colour. I'm also going to use the brush that came with the palette too. Next step after that is apply an eyeliner, but again, I haven't quite mastered how to do liquid eyeliner and I don't have any eyeliner pencils, so we're going to skip that step. Finish off with mascara, so I'm just going to go in for my Smashbox Super Fan Shade Black Mascara. To complete your eye makeup, you will need to top off your eyes with a bit of mascara. wanted to add some colour to your lip so for just for the lip colour I'm going to go with the number seven's moisture drench desert rose basically it's just a really nice pinky shade and then it doesn't really say anything about finishing off the look but I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It's brand new. haven't used it yet because I ran out the last one. It's just the travel size. It just basically looks like this. Where's the consent? I can see you. As I said, I'm not very good at makeup. But this just seems to be the finished look. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. Also, if there's any more video suggestions, if you would like to see me do any more wicked tutorials, anything at all, please, please leave me a suggestion in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.